summer long, rain could cause a lot of problems in areas impacted by last summer's fires. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn explains the tactics being taken to stabilize the ground in those hard hit burn areas. It's an ongoing effort to restore the forest floor. I'm doing the important work that we need to do to open these trails back up to the public. Aerial mulch drops in several burn scar zones after last year's devastating wildfires. And it also speeds up the recovery of the fire here itself. The mulch is a post fire large scale treatment that helps reseed the forest and reduce erosion and debris flows, protecting life, property, and water quality. We've had our source water intake on the Poudre River turned off for about 40 days this summer period wow. because the water quality was too poor to treat. Sean Chambers is the water and sewer director in Greeley and says without this kind of treatment, you just get a lot of rapid runoff and you get debris and tremendous sediment and ash. Across northern Colorado, more than a million people are impacted by that East Troublesome Fire burn area. In the Cameron Peak burn scar, in addition to the watershed, volunteers are working to restore a series of trails also damaged and in some cases destroyed by the fire. There's still hazardous dead trees that are around. There's high risks of rock slides and falls as well as those flash flood events that we can get. The idea this week, get ahead of a rainy pattern moving into the high country this weekend in an effort to prevent a major catastrophe. That's a really good thing to watch the weather, try and stay out of the high country, uh, you know, before those afternoon monsoonal rains. Russell Haythorn, Denver 